Op details are as follows. That's all. Vanergan, move out. June 6th, the Jutland army attacked the former kingdom of Ruse by way of Ipsaria and went on to destroy the old capital. Let's go. Ready when you are. Let's do this. Open fire. Let's end this. Constable, you. <laughs> You ready? What are you looking at? In the name of Jutland! Who's next? Guard. 
All right. They're good. Take that! 
Let's get to my victory. brother's torch. Commander neutralized. Us. Not good enough. Oh, oh, oh. We'll pull through somehow. Uh, yeah. Nice try. Next. Look what I can do. You ready? Let me make a cake 
clock. Watch this! Get lost! It's damaged! Out of my way! Take this! I expect no less! Enemy reinforcements! They've got tanks, and they're already storming the inner city! Understood. Let's handle that first. Move out! Let's end this! I am nice. with you! Get lost! Oh, Alright. <laughs> Let's end this! <laughs> Commander down! To arms! Yeah. You shan't escape! In the name of Jetland! You shan't escape! Do not underestimate me! Sally forth! Day is ours! Be gone! You ready? What are you looking for? Ready? I shall give it my all! <laughs> Reinforcement! Ready or not, here I come! Commander <laughs> down! <laughs> Let's end this! What are you looking for? Damage! 
where you got them! Okay? Watch this! For your help, you have my hands! I can't shoot you at all! You ready? Watch this! Feel me! It's no good. What are you looking for? Expected. God, Sooks, what a stunning spectacle! I might have gone a tad overboard with the gunpowder. I hope there's not too much damage to the city itself. Mission complete. We'll let the main army handle things from here. What's wrong? Nothing. Watching those flames, though, I somehow... Nay, never mind. Let us depart. Freet! Good news! You can write here again. How's that? You've been specifically requested to write an article. Me, specifically? The suits are shallow. Yesterday, they sided with the anti-war sentiments. Now, they're back to slinging with cells. So, what's this piece supposed to be on? The capture of Mugen Ruse. Military wants the word spread as far as it can go. Seems you're the most qualified wordsmith to write about this great victory, and help raise the nation's morale. Truth is, they just want you to write a propaganda piece. But honestly, it'd be a huge help to me to have you write it. Besides, I miss working with you. Okay, I'll do it. It's decided then. Every Jutland newspaper wrote about the attack on the old kingdom of Ruse. Liberation of the capital. I read the articles. The impact of those words must have moved the people greatly. What was it like for Ruse during that period?
The atmosphere within the Ruzi Empire was tumultuous. Like the traders had planned, they succeeded in rekindling the country's awareness of the Liberation War. Conversely, they brought the people of Ruz together, albeit through a shared animosity toward Jutland. How ironic. They gave us yet another reason to attack. I suspect their aim was to compromise our morale. However, the proud people of Ruz side with his majesty. Morale has risen with righteous fury, not dwindled. As for the self-proclaimed superpowers, they have chosen to wait and see how events unfold. It appears they view this as an issue unrelated to them. They hope we destroy each other, so to speak. There's intel that a politician from Jutland has contacted them, so precautions should be made on how they will act. How deliciously cunning. The people want an even greater victory than the one at Covaltus, Your Majesty. I have an idea, sire. Speak. Why not retake Avalon? Hmm. Explain yourself. Your Majesty. You have always taken care of the factory workers and craftsmen of Avalon. You never gave too much or too little of lodging, food, and employment. You have tamed them skillfully and steadily. I quite enjoyed watching the people of Avalon's spirits break, Your Majesty. You had them eating out of your hand. There are many in Avalon who do not agree with Jutland's invasion, and wish for Your Majesty's rule once again. If we are to reclaim it, now is the opportunity, before they are fully persuaded by the Jutes. In that case, I'd better take point. It's no secret that the Jutes snatched it up from under my nose. Go as well, Maxime. Vindicate your honor alongside Gustav. Yes, sire. All right, let's get this party started. And this time, not even the Hounds of Hell could spoil our fun. Right, Maxine? <sighs> We thought to find you here. Your Majesty, I didn't expect... Your visage betrayed an unspoken question. So, here we are. Sire. We permit you to ask. <laughs> it concerns the Valkyria. On the battlefield at Covaltis, it caused harm to even our allies. Strategically, I understand it was a necessary sacrifice. I admire Your Majesty's resolve in taking such actions. However, this time... You cannot accept it, no? I know they would be honored to die on the battlefield by enemy gunfire. But succumbing to the Valkyria's wicked tune makes their sacrifices meaningless. Is such a meaningless death even necessary? Your Honor's compassion is a rarity among the court. That is precisely why you were dubbed a Grand General. To say nothing of your skills as an unparalleled warrior. I... I am not worthy of such words. However, that is likewise the reason you lack understanding. <laughs> Mark us well. On the path of power, martyrs have no meaning but as stepping stones. As we walk the road to rule, sacrifices must needs be made. We would offer our citizens, our soldiers, even our soul. That, Maxime, is the true way of kings. <sighs> Should you wish to serve us, we shall make use of you. You work well with Gustav, no? Learn from him what it means to be a Grand General of the Ruzi Empire. Yes, Your Majesty. We look forward to hearing your role in recapturing Avalon. What magnificent conviction! 
I can't imagine that His Majesty's resolve as an autocrat would ever waver. However, is the Emperor truly the man I should serve? Is he the image of a ruler that the people, that I, seek? Look at this. Another complaint? The other way around. Your columns lit a fire under Jutland's morale. What? It seems people understand why taking Mugenruz is such a huge win. All because of your writing. That's so. Just look at some of these. Everyone's rallied behind the military again. They're expecting another victory come the next battle. Do they even understand the complexity of this situation? What's gotten into you? Maybe my words did light this country's morale anew. I doused a dying fire with oil and let the flames come again. Hmm. And it worked. I just didn't anticipate how hot those flames would be. But what if it loses control? What if the house burns down? Whose fault would that be? Your mind goes to dark places. <laughs> Look, I get what you mean. People are prone to switching their stance at the drop of a hat. That's human nature. Thought I had a grasp on it, but... I never expected anything this rabid. Rabid? Listen, Freed, if you don't want to write anymore... No, I'll keep doing them. If I quit now, who knows what would happen. Shit, it's the only thing I'm any good at. That's why I became a writer in the first place. Well, I appreciate that. Close up shop now and all hell would break loose. Besides, can't hurt to ride this wartime support a little longer. Guess we aren't much better than the rabid masses. The Imperial Army's mobilizing. Gustav has command. So a Grand General is coming. Our attack on the former capital is bearing fruit. Furthermore, morale within Jutland increases. Same with the momentum in Parliament and the pro-war factions. It was perfect. This is possible thanks to you inspiring the nation. It was a really good column. The Jutland Army can still fight. The Liberation War isn't over yet. The citizens have faith in the military. Your words have lifted the country's spirits. It's like they forgot all about Cavaltus. Better if they do. Vi, you keep track of Gustav. This time, we're taking him out for good. Aren't you going to eat, milady? I seem to have lost my appetite. Not hungry? Who are you, and what have you done with Ophelia? Oh, please. It's just about the incident at Mugenru's. I had a feeling something's been bothering you since then. Why was the attack even necessary? It seemed less about raising morale than simply trampling over the Empire's former capital. Hmm. You seem lost. I wonder what my brother would have done. <laughs> Scolded me, most likely. Well then, I'll take over for him. Nope, just don't have it in me. Then what do you think, Miranda? I did have the same question, but at the end of the day, orders are orders, so I left it at that. <sighs> then you must think me foolish for thinking such things. Now, I didn't say that. If you're still in doubt, why not talk it over with the captain? He would probably not even bother to scold me. Still, he is your commanding officer. If a subordinate has doubts, it's on him to keep it from affecting the operation. <sighs> oh, what to do? If you stay like this, not even singing is going to help. For not having a scolding in you, that hit close to home. 
And to tell the truth, there's been something bothering me too. About my brother. What happened? Did you not hear back from him? About the captain? <sighs> Godot did investigate him for me once. After that, however, I received no further reports. I could scarcely bring it back up, considering Anlit was... My brother did follow up on it. I found his research notes. Did you read them, Miranda? Yes, milady. I entrust this to your highness. <sighs> All that's written there, I believe to be true. To read or not to read, that is the question. Whether it's nobler to reveal the truth or hide it, the choice is yours. It seems you can be every bit as strict as Godot after all. Well, I am his little sister. June 23rd. Led by Admiral Gustav, the Ruse army attacked Avalun's industrial zone with a squad of heavy mana weaponry. The Jutland Army's guard was by no means weak, and their defense perimeter was firmly established. However, Commander Gustav tossed them about with clever tactics and his squad's nimble offense. It's written in the history of the war that they sieged Avalun in only a few hours. All righty then. Let's pay back the favor, shall we? The Ruse army thoroughly triumphed over the Jutland army. It was a battle in which Gustav handily restored his honor.